What's up brand builders, Stephen Hurahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video you're going to learn what the brand equity model is so you can better understand how to measure and grow your brand equity and value so you can get your customers to fall in love with your brand, develop loyalty and keep coming back for more. Now, if you're new to the channel and you wanna build brands that go beyond the visuals using strategy, psychology, and creative thinking, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you wanna fast track your results, make sure you grab the Pro Brand Strategy Blueprint. It's a free download and the link is in the description. Now, brand equity is the holy grail of branding because your brand equity is the reason that your audience will not only choose your brand, but choose to pay a premium just to have your brand. So when you understand how to measure and more specifically grow it, then you dramatically increase your chances of building a successful brand. So what is Keller's brand equity model? Well, Kevin Lane Keller is an international leader in the field of brand management, and he developed one of the most recognized brand equity models available today, and that is the CBBE, or the customer-based brand equity model. Now, this model is a tool on how to establish, grow, and evaluate brand equity, and it gives brand builders a framework to be able to go out and do exactly that. So how does the brand equity model work? Well, Keller's idea was really simple that in order to build a valuable brand, you need to create a perception in the marketplace that your audience actually values. So every single touch point, every single interaction that your audience has with the brand, the entire brand experience should work towards that perception. So using the steps of the model, a brand can grow its equity through performance, associations, emotions, and connections. So let's jump into the steps of the brand equity model so you can see exactly how to do that. So this is the brand equity model in full or the brand equity pyramid. Now it has four levels all focused on achieving an outcome that contributes towards the growth of brand equity. So let's run through each level now. Level one is identity. So who are you? So this is all about brand recognition and awareness and this is the first step to generating or developing that brand equity. Your audience needs to be aware of who your brand is. They need to be able to recognize it and recall it. So your slogan, your tagline, your logo, your name, the broader identity, all of these elements can contribute towards establishing that brand awareness and helping to establish that recognition in the marketplace. Level two is the meaning. What are you? So this is all about communicating what value you offer in the marketplace, why you're different, why your audience should care about your brand, why they should turn towards your brand instead of your competitors. So you can use performance and imagery within this level. So performance is about demonstrating how your brand fits the needs of your audience. And the image is about how the brand aligns with your customer through social and psychological le levels. What do they believe? And what does your brand believe? And what does your brand stand for? Level three is response. So how is your brand perceived? How does the customer respond to your brand messaging? And what response does your brand evoke? Specifically, what does your audience think and feel about your brand? And the two building blocks for this level are judgments and feelings. So judgments are the conclusions that your audience comes to in the role that your brand plays or can play in their lives. And the feelings are what they feel, what emotions have you evoked from your audience through your imagery, through your messaging and associations. Level four is relationship. So how are you connected to your audience? And this level is all about resonance. Have you resonated with who your audience is on a really emotional level, on a deep level? Do they self-identify with your brand? Because if your audience self-identifies with your brand, that is the holy grail of branding. If they feel that your brand represents who they are, then they will feel that emotional connection. So when you set out to build a brand, this is the level that you should aim to achieve because if your customer aligns with your beliefs and identifies with who your brand is and the associations that you've established in the marketplace, not only will they be loyal customers and come back for more, they'll become brand advocates who will proudly self-identify and become salespeople for your brand. 
So as you can see, the Keller's brand equity model is very simplistic, but it does give you a very, very simple and reliable tool that you can use as a framework to first evaluate where you are with your brand and then to grow your brand equity, loyalty, and ultimately your market share. Now you'll remember the first step of the brand equity model is to establish that recognition and brand awareness. If you wanna learn how to develop brand awareness, then this video will give you 15 strategies on how to do exactly that. Until next time, Brand Like a Master, and I'll see you in the next video.